unfortunately, JDT are a mile above. Okay, Gigi, first question, how so far preparation for KL uh, for this year? Yeah, uh, whoo, um, I, I think uh, we're in the spectrum of realism, you know? KO, we were top six in the first year I was here, and that was an incredible achievement. And then the second year we were top six and it was, people kind of treated it like that wasn't as good. And I think that's because we set the bar so high, you know, in that first year. But last year we had AFC, and when you have a small budget team and a small squad, it's very hard to stretch, stretch yourself. But for the first time since I've been here we have a lot of players we have depth we have a lot of structure so finances permitting I'm really hoping that we can push for the top four and get AFC again you know I, I know that everybody in my change room with that last year that run that we did that's something that we have forever a memory that we, we cherish and going over to play in Uzbekistan going to play in India we felt like we were representing the whole country and we want that feeling again so for us, the biggest motivator is to get back into AFC or into Champions League. So I hope it's not too unrealistic a thing to say, but we really, really want to be pushing on that top four, top three. Okay, uh, like, uh, so many KL fans say that uh, KL likes Chelsea by a lot of players this year. Uh, top scorer uh, Tanganu, Kipre, top scorer Selangor, Kayon. So maybe uh, what's your comment about that? Maybe uh, KL can be a title contender for this year. A lot of good players coming for this year. Yeah, I, I just got asked that question before and, and I hope this answer isn't pessimistic but unfortunately and fortunately when you're excuse me when you're in a league where there's a team that can spend 200 times more than everybody else you're fighting below that team that's just the, it's the nature unfortunately JDT are a mile above but you want to compete so if I have to speak realistically we're pushing to get for second and third but we still have Sabah, Keda, Terengganu that have all recruited well but we have recruited well we have firepower we have still the same core so I hope unlike Chelsea our side Signings work, but uh, we have a beautiful chemistry. We have a beautiful team. The new players have adapted really well, so I have a really, really good feeling. I heard the new rumors: uh, the young gentleman, a rich man, will buy KL City. So maybe if true, uh, you see the KL City can be a new management, new structure, can be a title contender for this year or next year, maybe. I think. I think uh, if we control the, the the growth, I think so. I think so. I think we can be somewhere where. Every Everybody in Kuala Lumpur, every city boy and every city girl feels like they come to the stadium and we put a smile on their face. That's what we want, you know? And uh, of course, K KLFA, before I got here, had a bit of a tumultuous history. But since I've been here, we've been growing slowly and slowly. And obviously, with this, if this new investor comes in and we can have a bit better finances, then hopefully we can really, really bring KL back to the days when they were in the 80s and everybody, the stadium was packed and we put a lot of smiles on a lot of faces because I feel like we have the team to do it. Uh, for new season, new structure for Liga Super. I think 14 team right now. So what you see about that? Maybe a, a more competitive for this year? Well, I, I, I like it because I think it allows the whole of the country to be in the one league. You know, if you have Kalantan in the, in the second division and this team in the first division are going up and down, then maybe the attendance isn't as high. Whereas if you have everybody in the top division, you're spreading that media, you're spreading that love of football. We're all competing for the same cup, you know? And I really think that'll be important. I think that'll be important. I think hopefully we'll see that in attendance. Hopefully we'll see that in commercial. Uh, but I think it, it will, it, it will uh, create a much different level of the league, of course. You know, because now the spectrum of the budget is even wider. Um, but like we always say at KL City, the only thing we can focus on is ourselves. So we just have to make sure that we keep building, we keep working on what Boyan wants, getting closer, gelling closer, keeping the, the team happy, the change room happy, and fingers crossed we can be on the top end. Uh, Kenny said uh, for the Super League, his target top four and want to get a uh, slot AFC back. Oh, it's the same. <laughs> All uh, domestic cup, you want to try uh, reach for the final. What's your personal target for this year? The first year I got a Malaysian Cup trophy and the second year I got an AFC runners up. So the third year I would like another medal if I could, you know, my neck is a bit, eh. uh, so I hope so, I hope so, but 
but um, the main thing for me is getting back in the AFC. Main thing for me is getting back in the AFC. But of course, we are since I've been here a bit of a uh, trophy team. So I hope that we, that luck can continue. I feel we have the team to do it. So uh, inshallah. Bro. My last question: Your words to KL fans. My words to KL fans are what I always say, and that is that I hope they all know. Since I've been here, I, I think I can speak for the whole team that we do this all for you guys. We love seeing you come out. Even 550 or 50,000, we feel like we're all a family together. And every time you come to Chera Stadium, it just gives us more motivation. So thank you. Please come out in droves. Bring your kids. Bring your kids' kids, and bring your kids' kids' cousins. And uh, we do this all for you guys. We want to put smiles on your faces. Thank you.